Next on the list, and maybe we'll end it here. We've got this quick I wanted to mention. Um, I was talking about Kif earlier on and how I feel like they've kind of fallen off. Another brand that I feel like has fallen off, and this could be explained a little bit. Maybe this could be explained more because of what's happened with Brendan, but this is Noah's new Spring Summer 22 lookbook and collection. And I think the reason why this might have fallen off might have something to do with the fact that Noah is now... No, sorry, Brendan Babson, the founder of Noah, is now the creative director of J. Crew. You know, J. Crew, you know, we all know the history of J. Crew and how it came up and basically the the importance and influence it had in menswear slash streetwear back in the day. And it kind of went for a bit of a lull period, but they're trying to basically reinvigorate the brand. And what better way to do it again than tapping into streetwear? Because again, if you know Brendan's um, background, he was obviously a former designer at um, Supreme. He also started Noah there. It was a bit, it went dormant for a bit. Then when he left Supreme, he then started Noah on his own. And some people, myself, I would say, some people, me personally would say, the greatest era of Supreme was when um, no, was when Brendan Babson was still there. And as soon as he left, the quality of the outerwear, especially, I feel like, and the overabundance of the logos and whatnot went up considerably. Maybe that might have to do with the VF Corp um, investment in terms of, you know, maybe tapping into newer markets because it suddenly went from having the Supreme logo on a little red tab on sometimes on the underside of it, not even on the front side. Now suddenly everything's got Supreme Britain on the on the sleeve, on the hood, on the back of the bums, on shorts. Like it's everywhere. Before it was never like that. It was always very subtly done. And I feel like, you know, the, especially the outer where the jackets were, I think of some I think of this. I think this was something that Noah sorry, Brendan must have been at Supreme with when it was a design or something he designed himself. What is it called again? I had it. Is it Aston? Was it Anorak? Is it Anorak? Oh, what is it called, man? patchwork was it called i had it as well was it fucking called was it called anorak not anorak uh parker is it supreme parker i've got the name of it what it's called is it 2017 when was it no it's not 2017 maybe it was 2011 it's not that either maybe it was 2010 what was that parker that i had the one with aaron bond or what was half and half Maybe that was a time when uh, Noah was still, uh, sorry, Brenda was still at Supreme. I'm pretty sure. But basically all this kind of outweigh sort of stuff, you know, a little bit more simple, a little bit more classic. Those are the times that I remember. Let's see if I can do 2009. When was it? Yeah, this is the one. So I had this. So this reminds me of the best era of Supreme outerwear when they had these sort of parkers, right? And I feel like Brenda was still at Supreme at the time when these stuff were being made especially this like this is definitely a grail especially the red one in the middle there this um supreme what's it called down jacket right really nice i had this one there i had that color actually this one right here and i had the i had this blue and green too but i sold it i didn't wear it but i wore that this color day in day out i think i remember seeing um there was an action editorial of andrew aaron bonder of a former a new york thing fame wearing this pair but again like you know a very subtle touch with the bread and again that was maybe a, a bit extreme back in the day that would have been tonal but that red box that was it and i remember back in the day some guys that used to buy supreme especially guys from like super future if the logo was too obtuse like this they would sometimes clip it off they'll take the logo off imagine that Kids nowadays would never do that because that would basically ruin the value of your stuff, especially if you want to resell it. But that was a big thing back in the day. Is this a Justice for All um, Parker too? I think that might be it. But yeah, there was a good time. I think that was one of the guys that used to work at Supreme. I forgot his name. But yeah, a good time to be alive back then, right? And I guess the other one must have been 28, 2008. The one that had the patch on the sleeve. Oh, that's another one too. That's that's another one too that reminds me of Brendan Babson's era at Supreme. I'm pretty sure he designed that. I think so. I, th I hope he did. I hope I'm not just chatting out my ass as per usual, but I think he might have designed that also. Uh, what was it, man? It had the little patch. Was it 2007? Let me see if it was 2007. Uh, no, it wasn't 2007. Was it? Uh, yeah, that's the one. Yeah, I had this one too, but the other colorway. I had it in the red. I think the red, the red and the navy. So that one. Yeah, that's the one I had. This one. Yes, respect the wild. Oh, I had this jacket, man. Crazy. I used to wear this all the time. What's it going for at the moment, actually, in terms of money price-wise? I forgot how much I sold mine for. 315. Minor, innit? Oh, it's a size small, that's why. But yeah, back in the day, Supreme was the best, man. I don't care. But yeah, so anyway, it feels like um Noah's suffered a little bit because, you know, it seems like he's maybe his commitments have been spread and he's now at um J. Crew. The look the best look that I've seen in this entire collection so far, I think, has been this look here. Um, the first one in the lookbook, which is essentially a brown suede tassel jacket. 
um, with some nice denim and white socks and some great loafers. I like the socks especially because they don't bunch. Little detail there. I'm not sure if they're that's like a stylist trick or whether or not he's constructed a pair of socks that don't bunch. It's hard to do. Even Nike socks that you buy sometimes they they're too long. You have to pull them down to bunch them up at the bottom. I just want socks that are white socks that are perfect that kind of end right underneath your calf muscle. That's all I want. Not much. You know what I mean, but the the cut of the jeans is really good. That tassel leather um or suede jacket looks really cool too but the rest of it is a bit forgetful it's a bit forgettable and considering again the competition out there at the moment in terms of brands that do stuff similar in this sort of space i don't know if it's you can justify spending the no money that you would need to buy these things nothing really jumps off the screen that is kind of a must cop out of everything that's in there some of the shoes are horrible they've got this Popeyes jacket that looks fairly interesting I think for the most part some of the knits are nice again this look maybe with those bowling shoes is a bit better but overall it's never it's not anything that really would want you to go out of your way to go and purchase personally I wouldn't think so anyway nothing here that I really was crying out in that regard this is maybe one of the better looks as well towards the end but yeah Noah's kind of fallen off I feel like a little bit it has a little bit personally for me I'm not too sure if anyone else would agree and then to end it we have maybe a reason or rationale why it's fallen off because this guy called Derek Guy shared some pictures from J. Crew Spring Summer 2020. Um, styling courtesy of Brendan, but obviously he's obviously um, the creative director there, J. Crew. This might explain why the source has left Noah because it seems like he's taken that source and it, you know exported it over to J. Crew. This is one of the this look itself with these shorts and this um polo long sleeve and the loafers look far better than anything we just saw in the Noah collection. This one look itself, so clearly. That's where maybe his creative juices are now being um, dispersed around or whatnot, right? J. Crew are basically sitting there open mouthed, ready to have, uh, you know, uh, Brendan Babijan's design expertise dunked into their mouths. So maybe this is a factor about it. But I haven't seen anything more from it. I don't know if there's going to be more looks from the lookbook released, but overall, fairly decent, isn't it? Fairly, fairly decent. <laughs>